The World Trade Organization conference is over, but the impact will remain with us for many years to come. We have delegates from 135 nations here to discuss trade, and then we have thousands of people from all over the globe here in Seattle to protest. Well, let's talk about WTO a little bit more in depth. The tradition of nonviolent demonstration has an honorable history from Susan B. Anthony to Gandhi to Martin Luther King. There has been a human chain up by your location all day long. What's going on now? Well, that human chain has been going on since about 8.30 this morning. Certainly a wild day in Seattle. It's an understatement. It's a four-inch... Uh... 20-gauge steel surrounded by concrete uh, with rebar and chicken wire in it, surrounded by plastic on the top. Let's show the lockbox here. Are these pretty heavy? Uh, these are like, what, 100, 150 pounds? In the middle of Sixth and Pike, they sat chained together with pipes and bike locks linked by their opposition to the World Trade Organization. We're here to shut down the WTO. They're not meeting today. <laughs> They were all chained together on this intersection, 4th and University, for hours and hours today. These are the ones that actually locked themselves into these cement barriers. How are you doing so far? You've been out here, what, about eight hours? I'm doing great at the moment. For everything we saw on TV, there were hundreds of incidents, thousands of incidents that were not captured by a camera. Expose the offenders and demand accountability. We survived it, and they stopped, and they didn't come running in and beating us up, which was really nice of them. <laughs>